I'm Chelsea. Um, I work for the tie-dyed iguana and today for you I have a video on rat snakes. Uh, so rat snakes are part of the family uh, Colubridae. Um, they're the largest snake family in the world. Rat snakes are generally pretty harmless. They're non-venomous constrictors. Um, you don't have anything to worry about from them. There's a couple of old worlds that actually do have a little bit of mild venom, um, but nothing to worry about. So they're very popular pets. One of the snakes that rat snakes that you guys are probably most familiar with are corn snakes. Corn snakes are actually a type of rat snake. They're considered um, the red rat snake. They're found in the south eastern portion of the country. Those guys come in a million different morphs um, and they've been bred, bred pretty readily so their temperament's generally pretty good. A lot of the other rat snakes that you'll find like this Texas rat here, sometimes they can be a little bit snarkier because they uh, they haven't really been bred in captivity quite as long. So generally these guys will get anywhere, I mean, if we're talking about all species here, anywhere between two to three feet all the way up to six feet is about typical. I think there was one recorded, one of the black rat snakes recorded as big as maybe eight foot um, and I think there's an old world that can actually get as big as nine foot. Um, so there's a pretty wide range of sizes for rat snakes. So worldwide, you have your new world rat snakes and your old world rat snakes. Um, there's about 50 different species altogether on these guys. In general, the ones that we're probably most familiar with in the United States is, is the black rat snake. That actually encompasses about three different species. So <laughs> they, they did test them and find out that there's actually um, some variation there. They're pretty common. Most of the rat snakes you see in the wild, like I said, are, the, are black rat snakes. You may find some of the others in the south. They do a lot of rodent population control. They're more likely to find them around houses, buildings, more urban areas. Um, and a lot of times they'll be climbing. These guys love to climb trees, you know, the sides of bricks of, on houses and stuff like that. So they're, they're pretty agile. So some of the things that make rat snakes a little more unique compared to some other snakes, um, you're not gonna be able to see it on this guy really well, but a lot of them have like weakly keeled scales, which means they have a ridge down the middle of their scales. Um, it's gonna be really hard to see on one this size. Um, but a lot of the species have the keeled scales that sometimes you only really see very noticeably in like viper species. Um, so that's a pretty cool fact. These guys will also rattle their tails. Um, you see that in a, in a few colubrid species, a few viper species, and a lot of people think that, hey, they're rattling their tails to imitate a rattlesnake, but they actually evolved that along with the rattlesnakes. The rattlesnakes just happen to get rattles. These guys just do it. Um, it is a little bit intimidating under leaf litter and stuff like that, but they're all doing it to just bluff. These guys don't have any venom um, and they're perfectly harmless. So even the, the old world species, some of them will rattle their tails and they've never been anywhere near a rattlesnake. So that's just something they just all sort of developed all at once is that tail rattling feature. So as far as general care for the rat snakes, most of your North American species will be perfectly happy with a basking spot of around 85 to 90. Um, the rest of the enclosure, 80, 75, something like that on the cool side isn't too bad. And these guys can do pretty well with a nighttime drop, so you just turn their, turn their light off at night. As far as feeding, these guys are awesome feeders. Um, I've rarely ever had one to miss a meal. Um, sometimes when they're in shed, they'll get a little bit fussy about it, but they will eat darn near everything. In the wild, these guys will feed off of rodents, they'll eat birds, they'll eat eggs, all kinds of stuff. You can even feed them that in captivity. You know, they'll eat quail eggs and um, chicks and stuff like that. I've even fed some of them, you know, fish, um, extra silver sides I had. They readily took that as well. These guys are, are champion eaters. As far as their enclosure goes, um, you'll definitely want sort of a humid area, either humid hide or, or some place to keep humid. Um, some of these guys, especially from farther in the south into Florida, are used to a little bit more humidity. And one of the big important things that I like to do with them is make sure they have climbing spaces. These guys are actually, I wouldn't say necessarily semi arboreal but you'll find them in the trees a lot. They'll hunt um, birds, they'll hunt uh, eggs at a bird nest. They like to be in, in vertical spaces. So I like to add a lot of little climbing branches that they can get up on um, and bask from there as well. So, so rat snakes in general um, are pretty good for people who want a really easy beginner snake. These guys are very easy to take care of. They're not fussy, like I said, they eat like champions. Corn snakes have been bred in captivity long enough that they um, are fairly docile. Every once in a while you'll end up with a snippy baby, but some of the other species like your, your Everglades or your Texas rats or your birds or something like that aren't as popular. So sometimes they end up being a little bit feisty. These guys will um, bluff, sometimes they musk, which is a little bit stinky, smells a little bit like a burning rubber tire, but not normally too messy. They may strike, 
all kinds of crazy stuff like that. So these guys are great for somebody who wants a snake with a little bit of attitude, but it's totally harmless. So you know, if they bite or get you or anything like that, it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt you like a venomous snake would. So this guy is a red-eyed leucistic uh, Texas rat snake. These guys normally have some some brown, some tan patterning, that sort of thing. But this guy is actually a color morph of the Texas rat snake. And these guys come from obviously Texas, um, sometimes a little bit farther north of that. These guys are actually a color morph of the western black rat snake. So remember what I said earlier that the, the, rat, the black rats are actually genetically different? Um, you have the easterns, the centrals, and then you have the westerns which are on the other side of the Mississippi towards um, you know, Missouri and not Illinois. So these guys are actually a color morph of the western rat snake. So this guy is a Bayard's rat snake. Bayard's, not very good at pronouncing that one. Um, these guys are kind of like a southwest Texas in New Mexico. Um, right now he's still a baby, so he's got a lot of his baby patterning, a lot of his baby coloring. Um, but the underside you can see is this sort of like orange coloration. And as these guys get older, that orange coloration will start to come up in between the scales. So what you end up with is a very cool um, gray scaled snake with a lot of that orange underneath. It almost looks like cracked lava flow or something like that. These guys, same thing, very easy care, not difficult to take care of at all. So, so this is one of those old world rat snakes I was telling you about. Um, this is a Japanese rat snake. Um, this one's a girl. And again, you know, as babies, they tend to have a lot of patterning and not a whole lot of color. Um, as she gets older, she'll start getting a little bit more blues and greens and stuff like that. She's got a little bit of the grayish blue on her head, but it's not super obvious right now. Um, so these guys will range anywhere between a, like a, a tan brownish to, to that beautiful blue gray. So this guy is an, a, a, an adult Everglades rat snake. Um, he's about five to six years old, and this gives you a pretty good idea of what some of the adult size looks like. He's going on about six feet, so he's kind of at his max. And again, these guys um, are actually a color form of the Eastern rat snake. So the black, the black rat snakes, the elegansis um, that you see on the east side of the states, this guy is just kind of a, he's the same species, just a different color. Um, so that goes for the Everglades rat snakes, the yellow rat snakes, those black rat snakes over there. So. so yeah, these guys are pretty handleable. You know, he doesn't usually give me any issues. Sometimes they'll give me some attitude, but again, that's all part of the charm, so. For anybody who's looking for something that's maybe a little bit more challenging to handle, um, these guys are great and give you some practice without worrying about being hurt.